very good evening everyone uh, we are thrilled to welcome you to this session and we hope it adds significant value to your career we have some fantastic insights to share and there will be an engaging q and a at the end so have your questions ready and we'll do our best to address them all during this session so uh, i'll be your host for the session and with me we have our honored guest for this evening mr navin shankar uh, navin is a seasoned hr professional with rich experience in hr and talent acquisition he has worked in companies in it product domain across india us uk and apac navin is passionate about technology positive work culture and stakeholder collaboration he has red uh, redesigned recruitment strategies applied analytics for the key decisions and led high uh, performing teams to drive effective business strategy recruitment programs and automation initiatives at scale uh, he is currently working as the head talent acquisition apac at appfire so before we start with the agenda this is the ninth session of our uh, series so for the people who have joined the session for the first time i would like to introduce you guys to our remote revolution series at uplers our mission is to streamline the hiring process making it reliable simple and fast and therefore remote revolution is an initiative wherein we invite speakers from top notch companies like twilio gitlab atlassian browser stack app fire and many more to share their insights on how these remote companies hire their process culture values interview tips and remote readiness traits required by global brands our mission behind this initiative is to upskill you all to get a good job in a remote top brand so moving forward to the session agenda today navin will take us through his journey he will share insights into his role he'll talk about the unique culture and values at appfire and his experience working with the remote team following that he'll talk about appfire its values and culture we'll explore the intricate hiring process at appfire next on the agenda we'll address the critical questions what skills does it take to crack an interview in a top remote brand so let's welcome navin without further ado let's dive into the session to start with tell us something about your career your journey your role at appfire Hey Divya, thank you so much for hosting. Um, and hi everyone, I hope uh, you know you're doing good. Uh, you know, I know that tomorrow is Republic Day, so happy Republic Day in advance. Uh, and thank you so much for you know joining uh, evening. So to start with, uh, I'll start with my career uh, trajectory. You know, how did I start? What is my education? To start, uh, you know, my I've completed my B in Information Science uh, Engineering background, and then I've completed uh, a a couple of uh, degrees which is one is from manipal university and the other one is the latest one is the executive mba from xlri uh, i started my journey as an entrepreneur uh, just after my engineering you know with my where remote itself you know was not in uh, you know not not as a norm i started my own company in my own house and with my partner uh, you know who was actually a selling consultant head at the way back in 2009 uh with my engineering desktop you know which which had a huge monitor of crt and and things like that so with that we initial investment of about 40000 we went up to a couple of crs you know like four to five crs run the business for almost like four and a half years then due to personal reasons i had to uh, you know move on with my partnership then i joined a company called ge uh, ge capital and uh, worked there for almost one and a half year it was again a great journey uh whatever i have not learned in my career uh, especially in my own company i i started learning uh, in ng especially you know how large company works how the processes works how these large companies can be uh, you know working in a small uh, groups and then you know travel and then uh, the data can be uh, moved up the ladder so these are some of the uh, important things that i've learned through the journey i've worked with great leaders in ge it was a great experience you know working in ge then i moved uh, uh, to another company called timing which is a very short stint uh, where i worked as a talent acquisition uh, lead and then i moved on to a company called centurylink where majority of my experience has uh, almost like 8 years i spent in this company started as an individual contributor uh, i worked in multiple 
designations, have multiple roles, uh, multiple strategies. I started as, as I told you, I started as an individual contributor, moved as a manager. Then uh, by the time I was leaving, I was already, I was uh, part of transformation uh, leaderboard uh, within uh, within uh, CenturyLink. I mean, now it is called as Lumen. And then I moved on to a company called s it I worked there as an associate director, talent acquisition head, where my major responsibility was uh, completely pan-India, uh, where I, I was responsible for making strategies, uh, making, you know, ensuring that, you know, time for hire and, you know, helping business to grow. And these are some of the things that I was part of it. Now, AppFire, coming to AppFire, it's been about five months. It's been fantastic journey. And uh, I really love about the culture of uh, AppFire. And uh, it's, it's, it just kickstarted. And I think, you know, there are a lot of things, um, you know, coming our uh, way. So uh, I've joined here as a talent acquisition uh, head, uh, APAC. I'm looking forward for a, one more long stint uh, with AppFire. So that's about me in a short uh, note. And I'm, I'm very thankful and fortunate, you know, for the experiences and the companies that I work for. Uh, so that's about me, Divya. That's, that's great. Um, thank you, Naveen, for sharing your remarkable journey with us, your extensive experience in HRM talent acquisition across diverse regions truly uh, reflects a wealth of knowledge. So moving on to the next slide, which is about AppFire. So knowing the details about the company, what it does, how it does is essential. Researching the company before an interview not only positions you as a well-prepared candidate, but also helps you make an in, uh, informed decision about whether the company aligns with your career aspirations and values. So let's hear from Naveen about AppFire. Yeah, I think uh, uh, this this is again, you know, uh, a great opportunity for me to share about AppFire. And I'm very uh, high about, I talk very high about uh, my company AppFire, the reason because of its culture. Uh, so before I go to the culture part, you know, I would tell about what we do, what, what are the businesses uh, that we actually work on. Uh, so we are in the business for about, almost like 19 years, and we have seen, I think, uh, a couple of recession already. We are a stable organization right now in terms of uh, financial-wise and as well uh, maturity-wise and also on the process side of it. Now, in the way back in 2005, you know, uh, AppFire uh, was started by our CEO, Randall, uh, Randall Ward, uh, which was in U.S., and uh, we still have our headquarters is located in uh, U.S., and uh, with now, you know, we started with about four or five employees, you know, it has moved up to 750 employees across the location of 27 countries with nine location, physical location, uh, what AppFire is actually having right now. Now, do we do all 750 Fireflies work uh, remotely? The answer is yes. So we are a remote first company and we we collaborate um, and and we thrive uh, majority uh, from from the remote from our own places wherever we wanted to work for so 55% of our customers are from fortune 500 companies and we develop software products software apps which is being uh, featured in the platform of uh, atlassian monday.com microsoft and Salesforce. So all our apps are being, you know, uh, integration and we are the experts for workflow, uh, which will help any product companies or any product development teams to collaborate better. And at the same time, you will have, uh, there are a lot of, lot of uh, you know, uh, companies are actually, you know, way ahead, you know, developing products. So we give tools for them and we give apps for them for making their life easy and that's how you know AppFire is actually building its uh, profoundness uh, around the business. And and uh, you know if I if I wanted to, uh, I mean in in terms of you know the culture, what we actually uh, really do, uh, you know if it has been recognized by Deloitte Technology First and uh, which is like INC five thousand and best place, uh, INC best workplace, uh, we've been uh, ranked on on their listings. So. AppFar, uh, in a nutshell, has a great culture, uh, has a remote first company, and we value our uh, employees, uh, we value our customers. Uh, there are there are a lot of uh, good things are happening, and we are in the growth journey right now. You know, when we look at from a 19 year uh, old business, the, the majority of our growth has happened between last two years. So we are in the exact midst of growth journey. 
So we will continue to have this growth journey in the coming up years. Uh, likewise, we have about 30 plus global customers and we have about 3000 apps, which we have uh, launched in platforms, as I mentioned earlier. So the most widely adopted uh, portfolio of Atlassian across like apps, um, you know, across 10,000 customers are being, you know, using worldwide. Uh, that's about AppFire. So there are there are other things, you know, that I wanted to talk about vision and mission, Divya. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please go ahead. I, I think I'll, I'll speak more about that. Sure. I think we'll keep that for the last and we'll uh, move further with another slide. Uh, yeah. Achal, can you just move to the next slide? So as AppFire, uh, you know, as I told you, you know, uh, there is there is a purpose of what we are actually doing, you know, to be an irreplaceable part of how teams collaborate, no matter how we how they want to work. So as a remote company, you know, we wanted to, you know, give an apps, tools uh, or products, uh, which is best in class. And we wanted to, you know, help the organization or the enterprise uh, uh, product teams, which they can collaborate in the way that they wanted to collaborate and develop the product. And when it comes to, you know, uh, I think you might have seen uh, some of the uh, Simon uh, videos where the companies has to look at from an inside out approach or not from the outside in approach. So the purpose is more important. And then, you know, we move forward for how do we actually you know, uh, way, take way ahead in terms of uh, the purpose and then, you know, vision and then a mission. So our purpose defined that we wanted to be an irreplaceable part of uh, how teams collaborate. I mean, that's the biggest purpose, what we are actually you know, driving our vision, to be known as the best source of incredible products to make our workflow, uh, make make workflows which, which can help uh, the teams to collaborate better, you know, uh, make sure that, you know, they're actually uh, in, in, in coming out of their best ways in their own possible ways. And our mission is to equip and connect every team so that, you know, they can plan, deliver, be their best at wherever they are actually be part of it. Uh, and, and, you know, we are a part of a one pledge, uh, uh, one person pledge uh, company. So through which uh, we actually now work on uh, a lot of CSR uh, activities. One of them uh, is uh, the program called as AppFire Town. Uh, if we have touched about 940 organization and volunteered about 4,369 hours, donated about $4,50,000, which is support for this cause of worldwide. And, and uh, through this, uh, you know, AppFire Town, you know, which has been one of the uh, biggest engagements, uh, what we have from an industry standpoint of view, we are about 77% uh, better than the uh, industry standards of the engagement when it comes to CSR activities. And our CEO, CEO believes that, you know, building great people will build the great business. And we find focus every aspect of AppFire building business operations. And accordingly, you know, we build accordingly that. That's, that's great. Thank you for sharing such a comprehensive overview of AppFire. It's truly impressive to see the significant growth and global presence AppFire has achieved with over 750 employees across 27 plus countries. Uh, the emphasis on a people-first approach, as highlighted by your CEO, align, uh, aligns with the belief that great businesses are built by great people. This philosophy undoubtedly contributes to a thriving and positive work culture at AppFire. Now that we have a good understanding of AppFire as an organization, so let's move to the next slide, which mentions about the core values of AppFire. So um, understanding the core value of a company before applying in any company is a, uh, is a strategic move that not only helps you prepare effectively, but also ensures that you are pursuing a position in an organization where you feel comfortable, fulfilled, and aligned with its fundamental principles. So let's hear it from you. Thank you, Divya. Um, yes, I mean, culture, um, the core values, you know, defines the organization. Uh, especially, you know, it becomes the foundational element for any organization to build, which is inside out approach, 
now when it comes to core values uh, in the midst of a professional journey you know we we wanted to be more uh, uh, you know achievable as an organization we we wanted to you know achieve more revenue we wanted to achieve more customers we forget to be human i think you know that is one of the thing uh, an element you know that appfire is completely uh, you know one of its kind uh, when it comes to uh, the core values uh, we we look at uh, all our core values are uh, integrated uh, within within uh, the appfire culture which will which will influence each and every fireflies uh, what we have about 750 employees across the globe uh now when we look at uh, you know you have seen uh, in the industry you might have seen how uh, integrity should be there how fairness should be there how you have to work you know customer focus these are some of the things that you have seen as a core values but appfire turns the ball turn around to its employees when it comes to the core values all the core values are aligned or you know more focused on the employees because you know we believe that if we take our employees or community well you know the customers have been really taken care of well and that is what you know our leadership and our ceo believes in and and that's how you know it has been trickled down to each and every person whoever has actually been part of uh, appfire so i'm going to go one by one you know what it really means for us uh, especially you know how how it really works out works out to be and and as i mentioned earlier be human is the number one core values what we have so the, what it really means is we look at at an empathy of a customer and also on an employee who is working with us and we listen to them we understand them we make sure we we have a connection to that particular person uh, you know it's not that you know i have assigned a task you know you just take it ahead you know that's not something you know is not the culture that we are we are looking at so understand uh, empathize listen then then we move forward and then we build around uh these core values and next is make make it or uh, or make it matter it it has two words you know like one is like you know what is the we we always you know wanted to make it i mean this is something i mean any organization or any any anybody you know who's actually a human you know wanted to always uh, grow up the ladder or make maybe you know grow up uh, the things or make it happen uh, make certain things uh, closer but we never look at what's the impact of it we never look at how we actually you know really uh, make that work around uh, but core value i mean here what we look at is we we act upon it at the same time we look at the impact of it to whom it is actually getting impacted is it to our customer or is it to our employee or is it to our um, you know colleague we make sure that whatever the actions that we take or actions that we perform where is the impact for it for it so we listen the feedback we listen to that and then you know we act upon accordingly within within the organization light the way what it means for us is clarity and education you know which means like we have more clarity through education i mean we have less clarity without education and light the way we can be a light for the organizations for the enterprise by by giving them uh, whatever uh, uh, we think is right but at the same time we need to understand what our customers is actually talking about we can say hey you know uh, why don't you try our products and and then you know give the feedback and that's what you know we are educating from our customers from our employees and then you know we start educating ourselves and making move forward and that's the that is how you know we are lighting a way towards our success at appfire getting it right and being it right i mean this is something every company would like to be a part of it like i mean getting it right i want to be right i want to be are we the best are we the are we the person who is actually you know doing the right things maybe yes and maybe no the reason reason why i'm saying maybe no is because you know we are trying to be the best and we have the right tools and right approach and the right core values we're just trying to be humiliative and stay curious we don't know whether being right or being wrong is is correct in the industry you know the industry is actually revo- revolving around the customer needs and it keeps changing day by day day by day and that's how you know we actually take the feedback and make sure that we are humiliative and stay curious about it and thrive change and grow together uh, this is this is most uh, uh, you know towards the adaptation of things i think you might have heard uh, some of the companies uh, in the re- in in the industry uh, uh, you know who is actually 
was at the top of the comp- top of their industry and then you know falls down maybe you know their shares and etc the reason is you know the adaption of uh, that change was was not so great or what was not so difficult or was it it was a it was extremely challenging for adapting to the industry needs and every organ every person here uh, at appfire we try to look at how do we adapt how do we you know do the uh, well, you know once we adapt you know we need support like for example uh, you know we if there is a change you know there is there are there are a lot of support system which is required so that's how you know we actually you know hold hand each other to ensure that you know we mutually grow as an organization and thrive for change and grow together add to the awesome and we believe everyone in the in in appfire is awesome we wanted to uh, you know add more to the awesome which is like reinvest reinvesting back to the uh, uh, an employee or a customer's feedback or or uh, the apps or the products and then you know have the excellence because we wanted to build the best in class product and that's how you know we are we are actually working on core values so now build the flame this is this is an uh, another uh, important thing you know the more as i told you know in the past like uh, adaptation is one of the things that is more important when you adapt you need innovation as well you need you need empowerment now empowerment you know will it be at the top level will it be at the bottom level it has to go through till the bottom layer of it and once you start you know uh, trickling down the more empowerment comes to the bottom layer of the line you know who is actually a foot holders a foot soldiers of uh, the whole organization then the organization will go or run uh, faster than what we are what we are actually thinking i mean through this our core values are the foundational elements for each and every action what we performs within the customer with the customer and also you know with uh the uh employees were and whoever is actually working on that's really great good to know about all the core values so uh these values collectively paint a picture of company that not only strives for success but places a strong emphasis on ethics inclusivity and personal and professional growth Absolutely. so good to know about the apple core values so yeah moving ahead to the next slide we have the apple's culture so knowing the culture of a company before applying is instrumental in making informed decision about your career path we recognize that culture significantly influences the company's identity and success shaping how employees engage collaborate and innovate so i would request navin to shed some light on the culture at appfire as our audience must be keen to discover the distinctive culture that propels uh, appfire's achievements absolutely uh... so devya as i uh, mentioned i think uh, appfire has a foundational core values uh, when it becomes a foundational strong the culture is just an action points when when i look at the action points uh, these are like or a daily 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 activities or daily uh, task or maybe daily uh, you know your um, your action your action points or maybe policies etc now when it when it looks for the appfar culture if you wanted to start from work anywhere uh, appfar is a first remote company uh, as my ceo say you know if you want to work anywhere you know wherever you want to get up um, so i want to i want to give you uh, an example you know one of our uh, employee uh, who is actually you now traveling uh, close to around um, i mean across the world he has actually traveled around 19 countries already and um, he's he's like uh, traveling every 3 months and he's sharing photos i mean yeah we are envy about it sometimes but at the same time you know we need to uh, you know really appreciate the fact that you know the company of appfar is really uh, helping uh, each and every employees to travel at the same time we have nomad policy where we can work from anywhere in the world uh, to ensure that you know your your work is is supposed to be delivered based on your convenience uh that's that's like work anywhere uh, be yourself uh, this is this is another thing you know we always uh, talk about within within our uh, appfar culture uh, we work in an asynchronous model um, because we use a lot of tools uh, with respect to collaborative or collaboration uh, we don't expect anybody to uh, respond immediately like i mean un- there are people who's actually you know uh, i i know um, some of uh, some of our employees you know get up early in the morning they're they're morning person you know you work in the morning i mean there are people who's actually working in late night you know you know 
you're a you're an evening person so whenever you want to work you know wherever you want to work you know be yourself i mean that's how you know you you can actually be yourself and we don't expect anybody to like respond immediately if i'm that's how you know the organization culture has been defined and we we also you know when we are actually you not know, trying to uh, you know send an email or maybe ping somebody or slack somebody uh, we expect there is a time you know that he will respond or she will respond at the time whenever that person is really available uh, i we we believe that everyone has a responsibility and accountability and that's what you know being yourself really matters as a culture of app fire so respect uh, reinvest in teams um, you know we respect uh, mutual mutually in terms of time um, it, we respect you know we reinvest in uh, time and and also you know we collaborate uh, not only from a remote perspective we also you know uh, catch up outside we have a flexibility to uh, either either meet in our offices but as i mentioned you know we have nine offices across the globe either we have an option to meet in office for collaborating or we have an option to you know like uh, you know make a place arrangements uh, which is in a hotel or maybe in a resort you know you can you can just you know try to book book that specific place and then you know you can meet as a collaborative way so we reinvestment back to the teams uh, especially in terms of the culture you know how we wanted to really collaborate respect each other uh, i mean when i when i'm saying respect uh, it is in terms of your time in terms of uh, the viewpoints in terms of uh all the aspects of how we actually really work on so customer focus and doing uh, doing right things uh we are customer obsessed uh the feedback of customer uh will drive a lot of things uh especially in the product uh product and uh our our uh, our, our basically on in terms of apps uh, solutions what we provide and system designs all these uh you know revol revolve around customer so so definitely customer is one of the focus you know that we always thrive to make sure that uh, we invest a lot of uh, things from uh, things on apps development and etc uh, which means that you know we are investing a lot of time with customer so likewise the customer would like to invest a lot of time with us because we are actually providing solution for them so that's a you know good hand take uh, hand over you know which we are working and making us as one of the culture so learning uh, is growth uh, this is uh, another fantastic uh, thing you know where you have uh, we have an opportunity um, to from a dual side of it one is like if you wanted to be uh, self aware of a, what is where is that you wanted to be we give an opportunity for you to grow uh, as a self like if you want if you are a developer I, i would like to give an example if you are a developer you wanted to be an architect now that is a learning path of your personal goal now we we actually as a culture we provide uh necessary uh, trainings necessary uh, aspects and we encourage you to do a self learning that's one one way of looking at it the organization will drive uh, some of uh, the learning uh, curve which is like leadership uh, learning or uh, invest in yourself personal development these are some of the investment that we do for especially for learning and uh, in in terms of learning uh we have uh, tools like afire university uh we have uh, you know we are we are pretty much okay for looking at how certifications can be uh, enabled uh, external certifications classroom uh, led trainings these are some of the things you know that we have actually enabled our employees at at their uh, ease uh philanthropy is a core of our business uh, definitely as i mentioned you know we have been featured in nasdaq Uh, for one percent uh, pledge, uh, just a couple of months back, and uh, we will continue to do. Uh, so, just to give a heads up, you know what we did in India is uh, we were part of Akshay Patra uh, as uh, you know one of the sponsors, and we built uh, um, actually a facility uh, for one of the orphanage in Pune. Uh, so, these are some of the two uh, recent uh, philanthropy activities that we did, uh, especially in India. and we have been you know spread across close to around uh, as i as i mentioned 27 countries that is just uh, you know our fly, fireflies are uh, allocated uh, but but however uh, as uh, you know uh, app fire town we have been spread across the whole world uh, there are people who is actually having uh, like for example you know if if you are if i am actually you know interested in specific uh, cause uh, 
you can actually raise the money within the organization. And that's the kind of uh, organization that we are in and we contribute towards it accordingly. So work-life balance, this is one of the top rating uh, in Glassdoor, uh, in, in you know wherever you see uh, as one of the top rating in work-life balance and equity of voice. Uh, the reason work-life balance is so important uh, is uh, we have um, you know two breaks in a year where uh, which is non-negotiable for an employee. The employee has to take a two breaks in his whole uh, in a year. So so these two breaks we talk about rejuvenation and you know we we talk about uh, taking the time back. And we 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 also you know ask uh, our employees to like spend some spend majority of your time at home or majority of your time spending whatever you like to do, and that's how you know we are actually now giving. Uh, I mean, this is one of the uh, initiative, but there are a lot of other initiatives like health. Uh, we we actually uh, you know look at how uh, an employees can improve their health, and there are a lot of activities you know worked around uh, in those uh, work life uh, balance. Uh, big ideas and being truly global. Uh, being truly truly global is is definitely yes. The reason because if you are a part of AppFire, uh, you know maybe around uh, one or two people will be from India. The rest of them will be spread across across the world. Uh, EMEA, Australia, uh, Singapore, or maybe US. I mean, there would be a lot of different countries. Diversified culture, diversified thought process. Uh, you will be a truly, you'll feel truly a being uh, a truly global company. And when it comes to big ideas, uh, you know, it, there is nothing, uh, we don't, we don't feel like, you know, there is only a big or a small or uh, things like, I mean, I'll give you an example. You know, we, we were thinking about, uh, uh, we wanted to, you know, uh, give back more time to our uh, employees. So there was a, there was an idea, you know, which we wanted to evaluate our processes, evaluate our time where where exactly we're spending more time uh, in a year so every year we're going to every teams will actually evaluate their processes evaluate their time and then reinvest in in improving the processes to give them give the time back to them so that you know they can spend more time with their family and they can do whatever they like so that's about the app fair culture and uh, i'm i'm very proud to be uh, and and presenting you know app fair culture because this is something which is very connected to me uh, at any point of time. Amazing, amazing. I'm sure like all these things which you have told us, like it's like really amazing. So uh, like it's truly inspiring to see such a comprehensive commitment to a positive and inclusive work environment. It, pro uh, it provides a clear understanding of what makes the company unique and sets it apart. So, uh, Richard has also mentioned in the chat box, like most people only prepare for tech interviews uh, and maximum people get rejected in the cultural round taken by HR. So yeah, that's true. So knowing about the culture of the company is very mandatory. So yes, moving on to the next slide, we have the interview process uh, at AppFire. And this slide is really important for all the people who are willing to apply at AppFire. In this slide, Naveen will be sharing about the interview process so you guys can just take a note of it or you can just take a screenshot and it will be very helpful for you guys. So over to you, Naveen. Yeah. So uh, before we, uh, you know, enter into the interview, explaining about the interview process. Um, so where do you find jobs? Uh, as I wanted to tell, uh, you know, you can find our jobs uh, in our career site. We post jobs in Glassdoor. We post jobs in Naukri. We post jobs in LinkedIn. So you can find all our open jobs uh, in, in these uh, job sites. Uh, so jumping back to interview process, uh, we have uh, six simple steps of interviewing process. Uh, this is being designed uh, considering the fact of uh, two main uh, important things. One is respect the time uh, of, of the candidate who's applying. At the same time, respect the time of uh, us who is actually you know, reviewing the profile. On the other side is hire the best. So these are two agendas that we have uh, you know, uh, taken as a prime consideration for designing the interview process. So whoever applies uh, for, uh, you know, through, through job boards or maybe through referrals, 
or or maybe you know through any applications the applications will be reviewed from our recruitment team uh, which will be um, you know from apac you know to be from my team and uh, you know we have global teams you know will be reviewing based on the location basis now the application review uh, what it really means is uh, is the resume really matching as per the job description mentioned and the job description uh, is aligned uh, to the requirement of what we are actually looking at. Now, all these alignments are in right path. Are are or you know are we trying to waste? Are we trying to you know increase the uh, pipeline uh, by by giving more ads and things like that? So basically, any resumes whichever is coming in need to match based on the job description. So I encourage everybody who is actually applying, read the job description, understand what the job role is, and then apply for it. So. I mean, we get a lot of application throughout, uh, uh, you know, the uh, channels. But however, majority of the applications uh, we we have to reject uh, at the initial stage itself. The reason because you know majority of, majority of them uh, really don't read uh, the job description. So I request you to uh, read the job description, then apply, uh, so that it becomes a win-win situation for uh, the recruiter at the app fire. And at the same time, for you to be successful at the app fire interview process. So once we like the profile, you know the the resume looks good, and we wanted to you know go ahead and take it forward for the next level. Then the recruiter uh, will call uh, the respective person or maybe the applicant who is suitable for the job. We'll have a thirty minute call or maybe uh, you know even shorter call based on the person's interest based on uh, we, we little delve into the uh, interest of what what it really means what it really uh, works for the candidates how uh, it can align to the app fire needs so these are some of the things uh, that will be discussed uh, once the recruiter is uh, you know convinced and and you know the candidate is convinced that this is a kind of application that i would uh, really go forward or the company that i go forward you know regarding of the culture, et cetera. Then there is a coding assessment. We use uh, Codility as a platform uh, for Codility challenging, uh, Codility challenge for engineering roles. If you are applying for people role or maybe uh, admin roles, you'll be given a specific task uh, which you'll have to perform before the interview process. Uh, so I would recommend uh, there are uh, Codility uh, challenges which is already available by Codility. Uh, go ahead and you know try uh, using uh, Codility uh, sample work or maybe uh, sample test uh, to resolve so that you can move uh, forward once you once you actually get it from a coding assessment point of view. Then uh, there there is there is a meet the hiring leader. This is a thirty to forty five minutes uh, meeting call, which will which will delve into. Uh, more on your culture, your fitment, uh, and as well, how you will be actually fitting to the organization and also to the team. This also is is uh, a kind of a cultural round. Uh, why we do that before we getting into the technical discussions or technical things is we respect your time at the same time. You know, we wanted to ensure that you know you are aligned in terms of technical abilities and your cultural fitment for the organization. And that's how you know we move forward. So hiring manager himself will talk, talk about the role, talk about the team, what is the projection, how how this particular role will elevate to the next level. These are some of the discussions that you will have during the meeting of the leaders. And at the same time, we will also you know uh, look forward for a candidate whoever is applying for what the right set of skill sets that he come he brings across to the table, how dynamic his experiences are and how is it is suitable for the job which is applying for so these are some of the things that will which will be discussed at, during this meeting then we moved on to the structured interview uh, which you will uh, have about uh, a series of uh, discussion about 3 to 4 discussion uh, which will have a multiple technical discussion at least two technical discussions and one managerial or uh, i would say a bar raiser discussion uh, which will be more to do with your experience and how your experiences are uh, matching to our requirement again, which we'll deep dive, delve into uh, more intricacies around uh, your skill sets.
which will which will uh, you know give a complete uh, understanding of what we are actually doing and what you are actually working according and if you like it uh, if everything goes fine you know then we go ahead and make an offer and uh, definitely you know our competitive offers you know will definitely uh, make you happy because we wanted every uh, candidate whoever is coming in with a happy face uh, you know salary is not only one thing you know that we offer we offer a value for a person whoever is coming into our organization we offer flexibility we offer um, you know uh, equity uh, and as well you know you will get stocks and you will have a lot of other perks along with the offer competitive offers if in case if your role or maybe profile is not suitable then then you know we will have to consider for some other job opportunity maybe after 6 months which is a cooling period and after that uh, if you're you know if you had a chance you know you should you should prepare yourself you know based on your previous experience and then apply again with us so this is an interview process with us great great thank you for um, walking us through the interview process at appio uh, your detailed explanation has provided valuable insights into what to expect and how the company values align with the selection criteria so moving ahead any specific resources or guidelines you would recommend for candidates to further prepare for the interviews any insights or material you could share would be immensely beneficial for our audience sure uh, say i would like to uh, you know divide the interview process into uh, the three three different stages the first stage is before the interview during the interview and after the interview now what is before the interview before the interview you know majority of of them are already available like hacker rank uh, you know it is available codeility is, is something you know which we, which is available from a coding standpoint of view but what it really matters is the resume you know um, i have seen resumes you know which which comes with uh, some of the resumes are not even aligned to the linkedin profile what it has been updated or or some of the profiles are uh, updated in such a way that you know it it looks like you know the the profile looks amazing but when we speak to the respective person you know it's it's not even close to whatever he is actually uh, are so i would suggest you know while preparing a resume you, know, you need to keep consideration of what is the role that you're applying for and what is your skill sets and how these roles and skill sets are matching you can use a multiple uh, you know tools to use or write your resume um, some of them are uh, copy.ai or maybe you know chat gpt is also you know one of them you know which will help you to write and then you have linkedin uh, you have performances uh, linkedin itself you know will help you to write your own resume so if you update your linkedin profile you know you can get your resume just download it just like that so so i would i would encourage uh, anybody to uh, you know update their linkedin profile ensure that their resumes are updated and then you know go for uh, the next now what happens is you know during the before the interview i would like to traverse to the uh, you know during the interview and then after and then again i'll come back to the preparation of it now during the interview uh, you'll have to assess uh, how these uh, technical panel has actually evolved like for example uh, if if i am a technical panel in in one of uh, the roles then you know look at my journey i know how is my journey is actually coming up is is my roles aligned to whatever i'm asking for talk to the recruiters ask the profile whoever is actually you now interviewing now now that is that is one of the way the other way is the star approach that you can actually take it up which will be like situational based uh, approach task uh, which is like set the tone by examples uh, describe your responsibility from a task pers perspective action oriented like i mean what is the steps that you've actually followed up and then what is the result you know result is something which is an outcome of what you actually do and what did you learn out of this so these are some of the things that you can actually you now talk during the uh, interview process and uh, after the interview i mean most of them most of the hrs you know you will not get a complete feedback uh, i would encourage anybody to or everybody uh, whoever actually finishes the technical discussion or maybe managerial discussion you know just go back and write what are the questions has been asked and how did you perform the competition is so high you know you need to actually reflect back by yourself and then you know 
again start working on those points and 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 excel in such a way that uh, you are actually you now making uh, the respective uh, resume looks as what your actually skill sets are and your skill sets are matching to what you're actually applying for. Now, when these three things are aligned together, it's easy to crack an interview and it becomes easy for you to be prepared and, you know, uh, which will be more, more clear in terms of uh, what exactly you're actually looking at. So now when it comes to AppFire, um, AppFire, you know, has a set of things that we look at. AppFire requires a combination of technical knowledge, problem solving skills, and and the communication skills. Uh, the communication skill uh, is uh, definitely an important piece for any remote first companies. So definitely, uh, if you are uh, already you know started working on a communication channel or or maybe you know improving on your communication, the first thing is like definitely you know try to work on that and then you know look forward for other coding skills and 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 things like that because communication will be your personal traits which will be there for your lifetime and coding skills are something you know which you can develop over a period of time and which can be used you know before the interview you can actually practice for about a couple of months and then crack an interview um, so these are some of the things i mean when it comes to uh, technical what we look at is we look at from a coding proficiency how proficient you are if you're saying that you know you're a java professional how uh, how much experience uh, or how much skills that you can actually you know really work on the java uh, it's okay you know if you don't know the other language you know just trying to be honest uh, be honest and say that i don't know but however if you're saying that you're a java expert ensure that you're you're having the complete set uh, of knowledge and the coding experiences uh, very very clear in in terms of coding proficiencies and data structures and algorithm is another uh, piece that we look at from an app fire standpoint of view because we build uh, products which are more critical you know to understand this uh, concept uh, especially on the technical side system design is more to do with the architectural uh, understanding uh, this is at a high level you can still find a lot of uh, um, you know system design uh, materials in geek for uh, geeks uh, website where you can actually practice and also you know you have uh, a mentorship uh, in in this websites where you can actually go back and start learning for it behavior questions uh, definitely you know uh, these are some of the questions which you can uh, as i mentioned earlier you know use star approach uh, for practicing uh, these uh, app, these um, answering these questions because that becomes an easy ball game for anybody to uh, clear the interview or or maybe you know to make things uh, you know, in a positive way. Okay, the other attributes, uh, which I would say, um, you know, the resume, as I told you, resume and LinkedIn, you know, needs to be updated and you have to stay calm and be honest. Being honest is one of the uh, key thing uh, because that's that's one of the easiest way to, you know, get through, uh, you know, if you're, if you're actually, you know, being honest for yourself, you can be honest for the company that you're working for. So if you're being honest on both the sides, definitely there is a successful career along your way. Great. So amazing information you have shared and I'm sure everyone uh, will be eager to apply these tips as they as they prepare for the interview process at AppFire or any company for the fact. So um, a lot of people have questions about the available roles. So in this slide, okay, yeah, in this slide, we have two sections, active jobs, are the ones who, which are open at AppFire at this point in time. And passive roles are the ones which are not open right now, but they're likely to open in near future or next quarter or maybe like in coming future. So yes, uh, Naveen, you can talk about it and then we'll open the floor for Q&A. Yeah, yes, I mean, as, as you mentioned, we are rightly uh, active jobs are the jobs which are which are already there. Uh, uh, you know, in in the job sites and career sites, uh, passive jobs uh, are the jobs you know which we are expecting within a quarter. And uh, what is expected out of these uh, uh, you know roles are like, you know, when I when I'm talking about senior software engineer, which is at level three, which is between around four to six years of experience or eight years of experience. Uh, one one specific thing, you know, what AppFire is actually looking at it. We don't look at the experience, what it what the person is actually getting it. The person whoever is actually applying for a job should be qualifying for the role as per the job description. 
If you're saying that, you know, I'm a project manager, you should have the skills of a project manager. If you're saying that I am a senior software engineer, you should have skills of a senior software engineer, like, I mean, uh, showcasing the ability to code, showcasing the ability to uh, understand how system design works, how algorithms works. Uh, but but if you say that, you know, um, I'm a senior person, can I apply for a junior role? Uh, and, and I mean, there are instances uh, a project manager is being considered for a senior uh, engineer role. The reason because the skill sets of what the project manager is actually saying, or maybe the project manager is actually working on, is not matching to the role of a project manager, but it is matching to a senior software engineer or maybe a senior PMO. So the, the, these are some of the things are something which you need to be keeping in mind before applying for any jobs. Ensure that the skills are being updated, skills are being enhanced, and then apply for jobs. Rather, you know, just trying to have that I have the experience I would like to apply for. That that wouldn't work out in AppFire. Okay, so brilliant. Thank you, Naveen, for the invaluable information you have shared. So with this, we are done with the slides. And now let's dive into some questions from our audience. So to begin with, I have a question, which is, um, is prior remote work experience mandatory for a remote job at AppFire? No, not really. I mean, if anybody wanted to, you know, apply, uh, wanted to be part of AppFire, uh, there is there is no such, uh, uh, you know, background is required. Uh, all we expect is a person has the right skill sets, uh, which is as per the job description, and uh, and interested to work with AppFire, we are happy to, uh, you know considered okay so uh the next question is what specific practices or initiatives contribute to fostering a unique remote culture at appfire okay uh first of all uh, i would say cultural intelligence uh you know which is like how adaptable that you are how flexible you are how uh, you can collaborate with your team members uh, these are some of the traits uh, that we look at from a uh, cultural intelligence uh, point of view. From a communication point of view, as I mentioned earlier, uh, communication is a key uh, element for any remote jobs, uh, which can be through. Uh, we use a lot of uh, tech, you know, in terms of products, and uh, also, you know, uh, we use a lot of communication and collaborative tools. But however, communication uh, is not, a, it, it's not about just about, you know, you, you just uh, pinging uh, somebody or you're slacking somebody or you're writing an email or you're communicating. Communication is something uh, which you are updating certain things or which you're communicating in a certain way with a certain task, or you need to know to whom you're actually, you know, talking to, to whom the person is responding to. Understand the communication around that and then respond. That's more key element for it. The other thing is skill sets, uh, which whatever you're performing, like if if I'm a recruiter, I should be the best of best of the best recruiter. If I'm a developer, I need to be the best among the amongst the lot. So try to improve your skills on a regular basis. Uh, I'm sure you know you'll be working on that. I think with these qualities, definitely you know you will be able to get into AppFire for sure. So I guess I have a question. Like we have a question in the chat box where um, a candidate is looking at the AppFire website and he can see a lot of positions over there. Some positions are matching his uh, his domain, but it is showing the remote Poland or Spain. So will that prevent him, uh, an Indian-based candidate, from being considered for this job? Uh, yes. Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, the reason because, um, you know, this is this is not from AppFire, you know, has a restriction that you can apply for a different roles. Uh, it is uh, the law of the land, uh, regulations from um, the India perspective. Like, for example, if I'm an Indian citizen, if I wanted to work for Poland uh, opportunity or Poland position, then uh, the app fire, you know, uh, need to look at the intricacies of how it actually works between the countries. So if if there is an option the countries allows to work, I think definitely yes. But but as of now, you know, whatever we are seeing from a from the country standpoint of view, Definitely, it will be country-specific for now. Okay. So, as we are working remotely, um, what are the things which we should learn and unlearn for being 
able to do good work or you know to be more productive okay uh, so i'll i'll tell you what we do in appfire uh, so uh, you know initially when we started uh, uh, working you know we had a lot of meetings uh so what we did is um, there is no friday meetings uh, and there is no monday meetings so both of these days uh, we don't we, we are very cautious to schedule any meeting until and unless it is a super urgency or something you know we we try to schedule those meeting and this is something you know which we need to unlearn unlearn um, you know from scheduling a meeting i mean we we tend to you know have a lot of meetings a lot of discussions unnecessary or maybe necessary uh but we we have never thought about what is the other person is actually really going through how is that you know it can be worked around how f- the other person you know really able to work or not work you know these are some of the things that you know you need to uh, really be cautious um uh, and and what is that you need to learn is uh, since you're working remote there are a lot of times you feel silo you know where where you 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 know end up saying thinking about overthinking about a lot of things overthinking about a lot of things so all we need to do is you know concentrate on uh, what is the task you know which been uh, is supposed to be worked upon and how do you actually you know communicate with your team uh, whether it is a personal touch or or maybe um, you know uh, or maybe with with professional touch and how how much uh, that you're actually uh, you know performing in your task and at the same time when you're actually working in a specific uh, you know in in your homes uh, we tend to you know miss uh, miss a lot of health issues you know health issues will come up in between and you need to be having a right schedule uh, for for making making your logging time log out time spending time with your family because you know there is no difference between your home and as well your office uh, so you have a specific timetable for your personal time and office time will help a lot to be more organized and be more productive uh, in your work uh and and also you know uh this is my personal experience where i had actually you know uh, gone through a lot of uh health issues because of you know a long long time you know sitting on the chair you know not moving around this was one of the major uh, challenge so i would definitely suggest anybody who's working in remote please do take uh, physical activities as one of your primary task as a as as primary you know responsibility to work around i think these are some of the things that you can help uh to work better and be productive in remote remote first companies great so uh i'll just take two more questions for the day so yes so my question is are there specific technology trends that appfire is currently focused on and how does this impact hiring decisions uh there are no specific technology uh, that we are looking at you know because we have been diversifying uh, based on the customer needs uh, but if you look at uh, last year uh, we were hiring a lot of java uh, kind of resources but here you know we, this year we are looking at uh, to hire more of devops uh, and uh, and and, uh, and and reduced uh, some of the positions in java because you know we have already hired in last year so it again depends upon completely from a business standpoint of view uh what business is expectations are and how do you, how we wanted to grow as a as a technology perspective or uh, as a product perspective uh those are some of the things you know which will which will impact uh the hiring or maybe the hiring process or the technology that we are getting aligned to uh it would the decisions will definitely not change because you know we have we have a set process uh, we have a set uh, uh, we know what we are actually doing we know how we are actually you know getting on to uh, the right set of uh, uh, people and and we have set up benchmark uh, in such a way that uh, we know how what needs uh, what works in appfire what it doesn't work in appfire so the decision of coming through uh, a candidate will not be happening but a decision of a business standpoint of view yes i mean there will be uh, changed based on the business needs all will depend upon the business needs and the hiring process okay so let's pick the last question for the day uh, what advice do you want to give to the individual looking to enhance their remote readiness and succeed in global teams okay uh, communication is one of the key aspect uh, attitude uh towards your work and uh and and self learning 
productive at home yes so yeah with this uh let's end this q and a and the session over here i know you guys have a lot of questions but don't worry uh we'll share the discord link with navin as well as all of you guys we'll be joining our community you guys can pitch in with all your questions and everything on discord so with that um thank you so much navin we truly value the insights you shared with us we appreciate your commitment in investing your time to contribute to the development of our community your efforts played a crucial role in improving the employability prospects within our tech community and opening doors to enhance remote opportunities so thank you so much for that it's my pleasure thank you so much uh, for hosting me and uh, i'm happy to be part of uh, remote first revolution i mean series i will also personally follow and uh, we'll we'll try to keep in touch and then i'll try to answer majority of, of your questions whichever is coming in the future thank you so much thank you so much it means a lot and for the people who have joined the session we have few uh, new few next steps with uh, you guys we'll be sharing all the details with you over whatsapp and social media stay connected over there and we are excited to organize more such session for future insightful sessions make sure to register on uplers you will find many job roles posted over there from different companies um, on the website and also appfire open roles are also posted over there you can also go through appfire website to see if any non technical roles or anything you want to see you can definitely go there and check that and for the people who are not a part of our discord community can join it through the link which shilpi must have shared in the chat box once you join our community you will get the exclusive access of our amazing discord channels which will definitely help you upskill and we'll be sharing all the recordings and additional materials through our linkedin email and other social media so just stay connected keep an eye out for all the updates on our whatsapp group also so thank you everyone we truly appreciate your presence thank you so much for joining thanks everyone